What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video and this is going to be another weird interesting project. This is something I've been working on in the background for quite a while and had a lot of fails, a lot of messing around and I think I'm finally at the point where I can share something with you on what this is and how you can do it in your own garage with not very complicated tools and processes to to do something like this if you want to mess around. So this is on cymatics and for anyone who doesn't know what cymatics is it's basically the study of sound the study of visible sound so instead of hearing sound we're looking for it in surfaces and seeing how it interacts with materials with objects with water all sorts of different things and i'm going to be doing this is just the start of this there's a big rabbit hole i plan to go down uh, this specific setup is more to look at large flat surfaces and it's a it's a really interesting thing so where do we begin um it all starts with this uh surface transducer which is basically my sort of fill in for a speaker a speaker normally has a, a cone on it it's usually made of paper or some sort of polymer and they're quite fragile and they're not meant for moving heavy objects or anything beyond their own weight and whatever air they're trying to push so this is my sort of stand-in for that these are about fifty dollars they're not the cheapest things around but um this is rated for 10 to 25 watts i have a feeling i'm going to burn this out and outgrow it very quickly but this is just the um the starting point and it is basically just a normal speaker even though it looks very different with the cone removed and a metal puck mounted on the coil which i have uh here so you got your normal voice coil and uh this this metal um, plate which attaches to this puck and this whole assembly moves up and down and we plan to transfer the energy of that movement into this metal plate this is what i've decided on as sort of my my next version of this project this is about 25 by 25 centimeters it's basically just an aluminium plate uh, that i've sanded just and given it a coat of matte black paint so we can see whatever we're putting on top of it now probably that this is all pretty straightforward stuff the trickiest part i had with this well it wasn't tricky for me but i could see how other people would struggle with it is you need to get this hole basically in the dead center i used my milling machine for it to basically measure in and mark the hole and drill it out what you could also do is if you draw uh, drew lines from corner to corner you could find that center point punch a hole and then drill it and that that's another pretty easy way of doing this uh, i use the mill just because i could and i wanted to get it as precise as possible and yeah that sort of worked out we we have a um a wood base uh, which i've chosen just to give it some dampening and to help hold the whole thing in place because it's pretty dense wood and quite heavy uh moving on from that we have an amplifier this is just one i had that's coming up in a future video it's a pretty cool amplifier but you can use anything with a modest wattage output this does about 60 watts a channel so it's perfect for this and i'm not too worried about anything happening to it at this point so that's why i chose this one out of all my amplifiers um the surface is going to resonate it's going to do lots of interesting things and you can put salt on it sand sugar god knows what else um we're going to start out with salt i found seems to work pretty well this is a fine grain salt which i'm really happy with the results with so that's what we're using with this we also have a large tray to catch all the salt that's going to go flying around everywhere because that is most definitely a thing 
uh, from my initial testing. And we've got some rubber feet to put on this wood block so it doesn't slide around and uh, whatnot. So how about I just assemble this in a quick time lapse and then we'll sort of recap everything and I will show you what we can do with this. Oh, sorry, one other thing I forgot to mention for a source, we're just going to use a signal generator app, which I have on my laptop. You can get them on phones. You can just open Spotify and they've got like set frequencies. You can just play as tracks. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. And basically we, you know, we want to vary frequency because the what will happen to this plate will change dramatically depending on that frequency. So you need to be able to just sort of do a wide range of them at any one time. Uh, yeah, so let's kick this off, get this assembled, and I'll show you what uh, this thing can do. All righty, so we're all set up. Um, got the tray underneath to try and catch the amount of crap that's gonna go just flying everywhere. Um, I ended up sticking the transducer on the wood with just some double-sided tape. I've tried drilling and mounting it in a more professional way, but the magnets are so powerful, they suck in all the metal debris from trying to, to mount it properly, so Let's just stick with double-sided tape for now because I've already ruined one of these things and I don't want to do it again. So yeah, I uh, recommend some hearing protection for this because the sound does get quite annoying and just sort of pierces your ears after a while. Amplifier is set up to the side and it's feeding straight in and we're ready to go. I have my signal source ready to go as well. So we're just going to get stuck straight into this. And we're going to start off with, uh, let's say, 1,000 hertz or 1 kilohertz and see if we're working. I think we're good. I'm just going to turn it up. Yep, so that's working. Uh, let's put some salt on and see what happens. The one issue I've had with these plates is um, getting them level. And in a future design, I definitely want to figure out a way to level these things better. So yeah, let's uh, start off. Look at that, that's amazing. All right, so let's change up the frequency. We'll go to 432 hertz. So you can see it's sort of scattering to one side. This is the issue I usually have.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that sort of compilation of a few different uh, frequencies. And I think that the, um, the frequency sweeps are probably the most impressive where you can rapidly watch the geometric patterns change as the frequency rises. And it's just, I don't know, people don't give sound enough credit, I don't think. And when you take a step back and you just appreciate the insanity of what you're witnessing, like everything that has to happen for those patterns to emerge in salt sitting on a plate with sound going through it is just unbelievable. Yeah, and this is just an early iteration of this. I'm going to be seeing where I can improve it and take it to the next level. Probably the most fascinating part about this is with those sweeps, you can see as the plate comes in and out of resonance and it, it just suddenly spikes. Everything just jumps off the plate and we get a new pattern and then it'll fade out and then it'll come back in again and bam, there's another pattern. And I'm curious to know if using different transducers with a better frequency response or if there's ways we can take this even further. So yeah, there is salt everywhere and I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. And we're, I'm going to do a bit more brainstorming on how we can use this plate, what else we can do. And uh, we will continue on in this video series and do some other crazy stuff in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video overall, and I will see you in the next one.